Hi, this is Sarah from Every Song Sucks. Today I'm going to look at a song and see if I think it sucks. The song I have today is Cymatic Hallucinations by Abnormality, and it was recommended by Laura Good. Now, you might be surprised I'm saying your name, Laura. It's because you're one of the three women that are frequent on my channel, and I know this because of looking into the analytics, I guess. Uh, I could name the three kind of thing and so I wanted to give you a chance doesn't mean I'm gonna like it just because you're a fellow woman or Canadian but I'd like to check it out and yeah see something experience something that a woman has to offer me here so let's uh <laughs> check it out Okay, so this is making me excited but about like what this is going to lead to, but I'm pretty picky about women singers. We'll see see if this is going to be a good thing or not.
All right, so what are my thoughts? So in regard to the lyrics here, I did look up the word somatic because I, I wanted to know what it was referring to just generally, like the title. And it's like to do with um, sound vibration, that kind of thing. So somatic hallucinations. So it sounds like a, a sound experience or whatever. Um, it just made me think of, um, like, here we go. Um, infinite frequencies, vibrations translate instantly uh, and invade and saturate. Um, anyways, it just makes me think of how sometimes we just think that our own experience is the only experience out there. Like, I don't know, we've uh, done something and we just think of it that way. We don't think of like what somebody else's experience is. And my an example is just um, like my, my son, he is autistic. And, uh, you know, when it comes time to feed your child, you just figure they're going to eat. But in his case, no, eating was not um, something that came naturally to him because he was actually defensive in regard to putting something in his mouth. Um, so it took a lot of work and stuff. And like, I think of people who experience things differently, such as uh, I had heard that Devin Townsend, he actually sees um, colors when he is playing music. And I don't know, you hear of all kinds of things where it's just not the way you originally would have thought of. So that's what that's what this song kind of made me think of. I guess it's not really a hallucination, but it's just sort of talking about an experience um, that somebody's having. They sound it sounds kind of overwhelming in this, but um, yeah. So that's what it made me think of um, in regard to the vocalist. So I had no idea what to expect there, and I was pleasantly surprised. I was glad she wasn't um, I don't know fluffy or anything. So I, I, uh, I did enjoy her vocals. I'm going to put her at a seven. Um, I got to say too, I enjoyed the modesty, her modesty. And, um, she just, she didn't come out there, you know, with all for all to see kind of like trying to pump up, I don't know, her body instead of herself kind of thing. Um, so I like to see that. And, uh, in regard to the music, I think that it was um, good. Uh, what stood out for me was the guitar. And uh, so I'm going to put the music at, I think I'm going to put it at a six. And I feel like this is the type of song that over time I'm going to notice parts more because I just feel like there's a lot going on and I just didn't, I don't know. I think I was just so like surprised by the, the ladies' vocals that uh, I missed parts of it or whatever. Um, and I'm always distracted when there's an actual video, but um, I did enjoy it. So yes, this one's going to make it to my playlist. So if anybody's got comments about the song, feel free to leave them. If you want to check out my playlist and how it's growing, or make sure your name is on my requester draw, you can do that by clicking the links in the description. And don't forget, if you follow me from the other channel, or you've already had your name picked on this channel, you have to re-register if you want to still be in the draw. Take care. See you next time.